You're welcome. I know. So she's thinking. show you today what the deep litter method really looks like you know the pictures on Pinterest were so beautiful but they have like you know four chickens in there and it's just gorgeous that's not what it really looks like after a long winter you're digging out the barn we have 50 birds in here or so and I cleaned it out once when it got really nice during the winter time it's like December or so so this is two or three months worth of what the deep litter method really looks like. There are some pros and cons to the deep litter method. One is you don't have to touch it. You just layer it on top and it's so frozen that there is no smell whatsoever. The second one is that it keeps them warmer. It definitely does, that's for sure. The con, major con, is that it takes forever. If you added the time up, if I had scraped it off every single week, if I could, if it wasn't frozen, then I probably would spend more time doing that. Another con is that if you have a wooden coop or barn like I do, the wood can get wet if you wait too long to get all of the litter off of it. And then you have to make sure it dries or else the wood's gonna start rotting. You're gonna get parasites and bugs in the wood. And you don't want any of that near your chickens because either they'll eat them or they'll get intestinal parasites from them. You don't want the wood in your barn too wet. I just now started and as you can see it's the beginning of a very long process that is a good six to eight inches of bedding and straw that i've cleared out already i forgot to mention earlier that there are many methods for keeping litter or not keeping litter in your barn or coop and the deep litter method is for places that usually have a lot of birds, but most importantly, do not do the thawing, then freezing, then thawing, then freezing cycle, because the, the litter will mold. It'll rot if it keeps on warming up and then freezing and warming up. It'll be a cesspool for bacteria and moisture. The only reason that we do it is because we have months of solid, freezing temperatures where it just freezes completely over every single layer stays frozen and then whenever it all thaws I dig it out. I tried an experiment. I put a tarp down here to see if it would protect the wood more than a fairly large layer of bedding and straw. I tried sand also. That didn't seem to go very well. We're gonna see how it worked. I wish I was strong enough to just Pull the entire tarp out. I think I'm gonna have to pull it off layer by layer. Done. Two and a half hours. Deep litter method complete. She likes it too. You're welcome. I know. Oh, she's thanking me. You're welcome. Like Brahma. You're welcome too. She likes me because I saved her life. One more bonus of doing the deep litter method is that you get to discover buried treasure. Literally, they're duck eggs. This one, uh, no, that looked like a speckled Sussex or the frizzle. This one looks like it's a little bit older. It looks like it froze and then thawed. So we're definitely going to be water bathing these to make sure they're okay. This one, uh, maybe not. 
these ones we're gonna water bathe and clean up lift from your back right that's what they always say keep your legs completely straight and lift from your back oh she doesn't like me being so close to her nest this is where Ernest P. Whirl goes. Am I dating myself? I don't think she likes that. That was a bird punch. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. There's one big pile of 